crew had their pr proper technology going, right. we between four people with smartphones, someone's always going to catch it. Right. And we're going to have belts with battery packs on it. Yeah. So we're going to have a belt with three days worth of juice at a time. And that's really medicine? What? That's, remember the cops when they pulled you over, they asked about what kind of medicine you got in there and you told them what everything was? What was in your belt at that time? When them cops oh, pulled when you over, the cops, Officer Dan, When the cops Officer inspected Dan, my whole Officer belt? Dan, yeah, Officer Yeah, my crystal Dan belt. Through all your crystal yeah, belt yeah. That what you was in there? You saw the light and then the spirit, what was in the spirit there? guided you to find the belt, right? Yeah, what was okay, in so there? You, what you, was you, in that belt? Yeah, no, no, I'm asking you. What was in you, the pouches? You, you never told me that part of the story. What was in that belt was items you made. You want you showed them your medicine. No, they were crystals. You in the middle of the road. Crystals, mineral crystals, rocks. I know, but you also Pretty stones. You had a medical. Trinkets. You also told me you had the kit around your belt and that you had to show the officers it. And remember when Officer Dan, they dropped you off, turns around and he says hey black heli helicopter hundred hits of acid thousand you, you x marks the spot yeah 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 x marks the spot you say when right exactly but i'm saying that's the shit I, that's 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 i like that you yeah know? that i mean awesome. i mean but hey hey that all came from the moment you're making the mushroom tea being you being who you want to be fucking killing in the kitchen the cool loving gentle souls of men are upstairs ben and all him the guy you know how you. revolutionary ben, 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 ben went on you with you on the the, the 56 foot stretch tummer brought you out to the place by alpine paisley park you had a great moment you came back i mean you met that good guy ben came with you you know what i mean there's a few other guys that came with you too but the love of your night is you found that woman that the, the girl that was there but you know what the thing is you no fought, wait you, you're you fought, no 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 you, you that didn't met happen yet. you met you, you didn't meet her yet when this happened remember you didn't oh meet that did, girl yet. you know where it's going i was trying to be suspenseful and keep the suspense right so you yeah. know that the girl that i met she didn't was come yet. she didn't come at that time you no. Ended up, you ended up uh, severely hurt when you went to your parents' house and they told you, hey, and, the, and, and they told you and the whole rest of you felt like shit and you kind of went on, you know what I mean? But yeah. But I'm telling you, that's how that, that's how that, that, you know, that affected you a lot because you told it in so much detail and that moment had a lot to do. You, you, you remember that moment. You had, that's something sacred to your heart. You but know what? Me, I just had... Know, I, I put myself in that moment. It was like I was there. I just had an epiphany and a new way of updating my language of how right. I describe and explain myself. Right. Right. I'm not, first of all, I do not believe in bipolar disorder. I don't believe in that diagnosis. Right. The Let's scientific, the, well, let me just finish this. It's powerful. It's, it's uplifting me because I'm taking, after 10 years, hey, can I, get one more from I you finally got one? off a commitment last month. They didn't extend me on commitment. Right. I'm being responsible and safe and reasonable and balanced, and I'm not causing any further reasons to have episodes of salute. Psychotic delusional I, psychosis. Been, I, I love eating the graham crackers at the cycle. And That's my favorite things. Graham crackers I now, enough. listen, I could tell my whole act team tomorrow, I don't want to see you no more. I'm done. I don't need your services anymore. Thank you. Month, you've been off commitment for a month now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, so I'm now, I'm now willingly, voluntarily. Yeah, I can't you, your mom get, let you go shopping with the card. I'm now willingly. Kind of, she kind of forgot you had it and went out. You but spent almost that much money, and that guy told you he's gonna give you your mom a discount when he made you leave and stuff. <laughs> you felt so deflated. Hey, check this out in the movie in the crew, for because it's. Can you imagine two more beings like so excited and uplifted like right. me and you here right now right. participating in the conversation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is gonna be some cool way to teach native traditions. Right, because there needs to be more emphasis on. That. There's a feather. I'm right. gonna say a hawk feather. That's what just came to me. There'll What's be that a mean? there'll be a hawk feather. I know. And the person who holds the feather is the moderator. That'll be you. And the whole group agrees upon this process. And so when it's getting a little too out of control and we're flipping you're, you're to like, too many... You're, you're like that guy that, that, that uh, does uh, you know, uh, peyote for a living and, and they call him the, tra the, uh, the, 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 um, the traveling man. Yeah. Thing. They call him the traveling man. Yeah. Because he's always out there like a free soul spirit. Like yeah. Were, but he's always lives his life on the drug, peyote. And he's yeah. like the guy that kind of leads the crew. Yeah. Kind of walks him through it. That's how I want you to be, but almost like as a tour. You, you, you want you're there for the adventure. Listen, this you, is my you, this you, is my I, deepest, I this is my deepest heart's desire. I this, want to hear your biggest. Desire. This is the project I've been training my whole life for as a creative artist. Let's start with that story. As a there. filmmaker, it's a good story. I have years worth of hundreds of fucking VHS or Super Eight digital eight tapes in my life, and I have like. Three or four years of those. Star I have like child. I have like Star that. Child. Uh huh. Are you ready for this mission? I'm. I was born ready, dude. I've, I yeah. never went off the mission, dude. I've just been. I just been waiting around be for. for I just been waiting around for the for the cast and crew to show up, right. the proper co-pilots. 
the proper co-conspirators. Anyone's brought to ride, it's been, it's the been proper done. merry pranksters. Are you familiar with the merry pranksters? Don't Have you ever heard of the merry pranksters? Taylor? Almost always the maybes. See, you're an 80s kid, right? Mm -hmm. What, what you were, you were born 90. Yeah. Oh, you're, I could be your dad, dude. Well, my son was born in 98. So you and my son only eight years difference. So you're closer to my son's generation and age than my generation and really. age. You're not closer really. to 20 than you are to 40, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'm wise. I'm you're sorry. not in your 30s yet? No. You're wise as fuck, dude. You're wise as fuck. Hey, say that with a little more confidence next time. Not like you're trying to right? prove something yeah. to me. No, I'm wise. All right, good. That's, I'm wise, that's I'm much ears. better. Years. Because you know what? I'll tell you what. Why you're wise? If you weren't I, wise, I wouldn't be with you because I don't deal with fools. Right. I can't deal with fools, man. They're psychotic. Nonsensical. Narcissist. Narcissistic, Selfish. asshole, abusive, Selfish. psychotic, delusional, fucked okay. up, Psycho freaked out, not cool, not fun, abusive as fuck. I can tell you all about that. Bastard ass people, man. Which brings me back to my story about my childhood upbringing in the cult of Christianity known as Roman Catholicism Community of Christ the Redeemer. Downtown St. Paul across from the Excel Center was the former Catholic Youth Center hey, building. You know, in, the night, in the dirty 30s, it used to be, uh, this used to be the gangster's capital. You had likes of Ma Barker, Creepy Caprice, Al Capone, John Dillinger. It yeah. was called the O'Connor Layover Agreement. What the O'Connor Layover Agreement was, yeah. was any gangster of any porns could come out to St. Paul. Yeah. And St. Paul, you know, was formerly known as Pig's Eye. You know that, right? We can do a chapter Pigs about Pigs this in the movie. Drunk Irishmen. We got to do you know a what? chapter you know, about this in the movie. It was called the Dirty 30s. John O'Connor was a police chief yeah. in the height of the Prohibition era. Yeah. Which sparked all these gangsters like some mob art creep, creep, Dude. Al Capone, John Dillinger. They could come here to St. Paul and it wouldn't be federally indicted. Okay? Listen to and, that. And also, Say that one the, more the, time. John, John it, was can, called, it was called, I'm talking about St. Paul, Minnesota right here. That was I know, in, my hometown, my birth, where yeah, I was yeah, born, where about, my family's been Saint living. St. Paul, Minnesota. My family's been there for 160 years. You know? And, uh, here. My family's grew up overlooking Pig's Eye across the river on the block for the last 160 years. Well, St. Paul once was known as the Dirty 30s, and uh, you would like some Abark, Creep Caprice, Al Capone, John Dillinger. They could come out here and they wouldn't be friendly indicted, right? No, do you realize? This was called the O'Connor Labor Agreement. This is in St. Paul, Minnesota. Do you realize okay, how fact, cool as fuck St. Paul is? Fact, John Dillinger once said there's two places of any importance you can find a gangster of any importance in the Dirty 30s. Two places, right? It was actually. Uh, Pretty Wait, hold on. You hear that, Minneapolis? Where did they go? John Dillinger. Where did in. all the highest rolling, most powerful, richest mobsters, gangsters mobsters and gangsters and prohibitionists and rum runners right. and bootleggers and, and drug speaking, speaking about this episode, runners and opium of, runners? Speaking, where did they go? Hey, they didn't this, go to Minneapolis. They went to St. Paul, Minnesota, the classiest it was place. Actually, it was actually sparked by Andrew Volstead, who was in 1929 elected to the St. Paul as St. Paul's mayor. Uh, and matter of fact, um, See, what I'm saying, Volstead, what a moderator with the hawk feather would do right. is would have already interrupted us and made us finish one of the other stories we were starting to tell. Right. That's what the moderator does to help no, it no, no, no. No, to help it be not, a fluid no, movie, no, 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 so the viewer actually gets a, right. a complete story, right, or right. or maybe not because it's a choose your own adventure. Well, this, so that this, could hey, be put to consensus. This isn't a true story. This is real life. See what happens. Really happened, what okay? happens is when you hey, sign that. Fact, John Dillinger once said, "There's two places of any importance you can find a gangster of any importance in the dirty thirties." John Dillinger said that. Here you if hold you, this if, for if, a second. If you go a block away.